Alright, I'm going to be using a mechanical pencil today um, to draw a cartoon character that I was asked to draw from a student. Um, you can use a regular pencil and I actually prefer regular pencils because you can control it better. Mechanical pencils, we have a tendency to draw really dark. So um, I'm going to draw dark to get started just so you can see my lines. Pardon my dishwasher that's running, it's kind of loud, isn't it? Okay, so for this character, um, let me see if I can show you. This is who I'm trying to draw, okay? And what I notice right away is this V shape, that is his chin. So if you draw a really wide V, um, draw light so you can change it, um, then you can decide is this comparing, is this the same like width or should it be slimmer? Or should it be wider? So there's lots of different V's, right? You can make it wide or you can make it a little bit slimmer. I think that this character is wider. So I'm going to keep this wide V. And what else? So after that, we have a jawline. The jawline comes up. And then around his ear, he's got the side of his face here. And we have not a lot showing here, but we can go ahead and guess. Underneath his hair is a line this way. So his ears are starting right here. And they're not really wide here. They're actually slim. His ear is wider on the top. And then they curve and connect. So if that's the top of his ear here, if you remember from studying the basic proportions, his eyes are going to be around here because the top of the ear meets up with where the eyes are. So even though it's a cartoon, making this thinner, even though it's a cartoon, it still follows basic human proportions. So the eye is closed, that makes it so it's just like a little, almost like a wannabe smiley face, copied twice. The nose is not anything realistic, it's just like a pinch of a nose. So if it was clay, I would just pinch a little pink, um, but it's not clay, it's 2D, it's flat. So I'm going to draw a little hook here, like a sideways V. That's kind of his nose, and maybe when we look back at it later, we'll make it bigger or smaller. We don't know, because uh, we're just trying to get the basics down. His mouth is like a little frown. A little line. So that is the beginning of his face. And I can check my proportions. Is his eye all the way... Uh, to his ear, no good, there's a space there, there's a space here, there should be a bigger space in the middle, so I'm actually going to cut the eyes down, and this is all proportions, he's got a little line here, and a little line here, that helps show the eyelid, because you have creases on your eyelid, you can go ahead and draw the eyebrows, they're pretty far up there, I'm going to draw them light because the artist originally drew them light. I don't need to push hard. And the hair is going to kind of cover that up. Um, speaking of hair, it goes off the page. That's why I kind of drew up far too. Speaking of hair, we can round this face off. And the hair kind of comes around and comes to a point. So you get to draw chunks of hair, chunks of hair. And I'm going to kind of make it up. I'm going to look at the image, but I'm also going to make up my own chunks because as an artist, you can do that. It doesn't have to look identical to whatever you're copying because you're your own person and you should be able to make some changes, stylize it. What if you wanted curly hair instead? What would that look like? So... That's the front bangs. The side is more like wavy triangles. Little ones, big ones, different sizes. 
if they all look the same it would get a little boring that's probably why the artist changed it now here I realize I need a neck the neck's not really wide he's not a bodybuilder the neck is probably slim like middle of the eye down there's also a like a turtleneck so that comes up right away his clothes go around the back there's a collar there's another collar um, he's got shoulders they're not very big he's not you know widely framed he's kind of got a smaller frame so I'm gonna try I got him kind of crooked but you try to straighten him up and yours sleeves for the arms the 99 is a circle does it have to be a, a perfect circle no I wonder what the 99 stands for and what else we got a sleeve here organic lines means that they're not geometric they kind of flow what else oh hair on the side so we have some little kind of spikes little triangles they go behind the ear and they kind of get bigger as you go up and there's not a lot of shading but you might want to check do you want the hair to look like it's overlapping the eyebrows if so I would erase the eyebrows unless you want it to be kind of transparent like a ghost the hair could be ghostly <clears throat> so let's check we have the jawline where we started it's kind of pointy if you wanted to round it out I bet you could just by erasing it and softening that corner uh, the nose it's kind of in the middle between the eyes and the mouth and it's a little pink a little almost like a triangle without one side the ears also had like a half circle <clears throat> and they had that little part of the ear I forget the name of that a uh, little half circle and if you wanted to go above and beyond and draw the background those trees look pretty fun the trees are kind of like lines that are broken up so if you started with one tree start and then let it branch off to the left make a tree trunk you can even make the tree trunk branching off let me show that down you can make that tree trunk branching off into other trunks trees are a bunch of V's you can make this tree trunk tall going off the page you can make another tree trunk going behind now I am no anime expert but I do know how to draw so those skills come into mind into hand because all I'm trying to do is get proportions right make sure that your eyes are about the same proportion that means that they're not too big and they're not too small that they look about right so that's how I got started with this guy I can't wait to see how you performed uh, give me updates send me pictures and you can pause this video, watch it again and again. Um, maybe you can make your own video too. You know your Chromebooks have a camera, so maybe you can make a better one than I can. Um, this was my first time trying to draw a character. Um, and of course, if I did it longer than 10 minutes, I probably would get better work. However, I'm trying to quickly get the basics down for you and you get to take as much time as you want this isn't a race you know you can go slow and i hope you enjoy it thank you